across the globe at the moment, um, probably similar to hi history throughout, um, there's always been a movement of people from country to country, immigration. Um, today we're seeing a lot of immigration and it seems that a lot of people that it's coming to developed countries um, are obviously either from Asia or the Middle East. Middle East, um, reason being all the Western countries decided to go in there and just turn into a quagmire. So we're to blame. Um, these people who come into developed countries, they want to they have a better life, okay? So although the majority of those people that leave, they go to those other countries, whether it be England, America, Canada, Australia, so forth, um, they probably need a lot more money than what the average Joe Blow has, okay? Because it costs money to buy tickets. It uh, costs money to set yourself up in another country. And it's not cheap. So the, the really poor, impoverished people aren't really leaving their nations. It tends to be middle class and above. And it's fine to have um, people go into countries um, and, and have countries immigrate skilled labour and so forth to fill spots that don't exist. But when people are coming into a country and that country doesn't have jobs, well, that government have been absolute morons. And the whole theory of more people in a country will create more jobs, that's been proven by many economists to be false. Because if there's no work and the world economy is, is, is coming down, it's reducing at the moment, it's not getting any better at the moment, well, therefore, there won't be, there won't be more jobs. Um, there'll be more struggle. And the whole purpose as to why these politicians um, promote immigration, it's because they've sold out. Corporations are in business, right? And they're not to blame. They're there to make a profit. Yeah, sure, they should have some sort of uh, moral um, moral substance in their decisions, but they're, they're businesses and businesses try to profit. Politicians are the ones all over the globe in, in all these developed countries that are having a mass a mass influx of immigration that should be looking out for the standard of living in that country. And um, if the standard of living is being reduced because of a massive influx of immigration, well, they're not doing their job. But they are doing their job, you see, because they've sold out to the corporations. And the more immigration that comes into a country, guess what? Where there was five people going for a job, now there's 25. In actual fact, most of these immigrants actually apply for the jobs online from their country before they even get here. And most people will know what I'm talking about, especially those who are, in, who are managers and actually hire um, people for, for big corporations or small businesses. Um, they'll see that every time they post a, um, a job application, um, they will have probably oh, maybe 100 resumes whereas 10 years ago, they'd be lucky to have 20, okay? And this is all done on purpose. It's strategy in order to reduce our wages, okay? And corporations love it, and uh, they make more profit. That's all it is, okay? And uh, don't be surprised if you find that all the, all the, all the propaganda out there that, that filters through the government, so to say, and... Um, well, the, the people who invest all the propaganda to specify that they're anti-racist and all that, because don't fall for that, people, right? People have got a right to go anywhere on this planet. Just because we've got a few man-made lines here and there, it doesn't mean people, they're not a tree. We're humans. We're allowed to move, right? And if people want to have a better life, all, I'm all for it, okay? And, um, yeah, so rest assured, this is what they do. They... Uh, allow an infl a massive influx of immigration coming into a country. And all of a sudden, the, 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 the problem with this is, though, that if that country doesn't have enough housing, the house prices go up. So they put pressure on the average Joe Blow um, to pay off a mortgage or even the rents go through the roof. So it's very difficult to find um, accommodation. So they push the housing up. And then on top of that, they reduce the wages. Okay. So this is a very, very, very slippery slope. 
And um, before anybody goes out and, and, and attacks people for immigrating to your country or so forth, no, don't be a fool. That's what mainstream media is gearing you to do because mainstream media is owned by the wealthy and the wealthy um, who own other corporations are their friends and they're all in cahoots and we know it. And it's, 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 it's the politicians that have a duty of care to their citizens to ensure that the standard of living that they have been accustomed to is kept close to that, that medium, okay? But of course, politicians, as we all know, they want to get in politics for 10, 15 years, um, get as many, many thick envelopes as possible, and go and retire in the south of France, okay? They don't care. They're looking out for themselves.